Hello engineers, in this video we will examine how we can trigger an Azure DevOps pipeline after another one by using native YAML syntax. If you enjoy my content, make sure you subscribe on my channel. In Azure DevOps you can use resources which represent pipelines, builds, repositories, containers, packages and webhooks. When you define a resource, it can be consumed anywhere in your pipeline. We will examine now how we can use a pipeline as a resource in order to trigger another one when the first one finishes. Let's say we have pipeline A and pipeline B. Using resources, we will trigger pipeline B automatically when A finishes the execution. As shown in the documentation, we can use as resources many things except from pipeline as packages built in repositories. Another example is the repository resource, which can trigger a pipeline based on a commit on a different repository. We will switch now to our example. We have two pipelines, the first pipeline and the second pipeline, and we want to trigger the second pipeline when the first finishes the execution. By navigating in the first pipeline, we can see that it's almost empty and nothing special is added there. The only task that is available in the first pipeline is an echo script which echoes this is the first pipeline running. We will now switch to the second pipeline which also includes a script task that prints on the output. The important thing in the second pipeline is the resources section under which we have defined the first pipeline and the trigger. In more detail, we have specified the source pipeline, which is called first pipeline, the project and the pipeline resource. The project is optional if you have both pipelines in the same project. The trigger is important because it will specify when the second pipeline will run. In our example, when the main branch of the first pipeline finishes the execution, then our second pipeline will start. We can verify the behavior by executing our first pipeline. Right after we trigger our first pipeline, we can go and notice what happens in the second pipeline. When our first pipeline finally finishes the execution, we can see that right after the second pipeline will get triggered by the first one. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you have ever used pipeline resources.